raised in Florida. Get in a boat, baby. Sit on the bank, whatever you want to do. Take your boat out there, drop a hook over the side. Don't even care if it's baited at that point. Snook, what do you got to say, Alex? They slam it, and this isn't even a big one. It's so sick. It's like they slam it and then just slap. It goes for a... Oh my god. All of it! <laughs> no! Oh, it got off! Did you see it? Dude, I skipped it back there to Narnia. Oh, yeah. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Look at that. <laughs> Tell me how you feel, Alex. Oh, snooker, amazing. Biggest one of the day, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna get bigger than that. But we just might, my friend. We just might. Wow. Getting the full Uncle Larry Outdoors experience this weekend, bud. Beautiful fish. I'm really to the leader. Let him go. Oh my god. Dude. Where you sitting, Alex? Whoa. Where you sitting? Oh! I got you, bro. Roll. I got you. Oh my god. Oh you my got god. him? No, not yet. No, not yet. Grab his ass. Grab his ass. Oh, no. Grab his ass. Get him, guy. 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 Dude, what? Dude, we gotta get, we gotta go over to land. Oh! Open your bail. Here. I set the hook and I was like, oh, I'm snapped. Look at the head of that thing, oh, dude. Oh, I'm definitely. I'm, Swallowed it. I'm definitely snagged, dude. Well, that's what happens, folks. Look at that fish. When you grind. <laughs> yeah! And you put your heart Dude, that's, into this. That's all day 30, 35, Bro, 36. Look at the size of that. Kai and I have been fishing every day, the whole day. Like we've caught big bass, we've caught five and six and seven pound bass on this trip. But when you get a fish like that, that pulls that hard, that eats like that, that has that kind of strength. Give me some, give me some audio of holding that fish. Okay. Look yeah, I at get the some size of that phone. thing. Yeah. Bro. This is insane. Um, Went from, you know, little, nice, fun snook to this absolute giant in a matter of seconds. Just insane. <sighs> Bro, these, the power. When you set the hook and they pull back on you for the first time, there's nothing like that that I felt. I mean, a redfish is the closest thing. <sighs> and when you fight them in a kayak like that. But here, guys. All right, the official measurement. 35 before just like right, final guys. thoughts. We're about to let this thing go. Beautiful, gigantic, snook. I knew he was going to die. I knew he was going to die. You just had to. 
Hey, yo, just cast right there. <laughs> I might have to move on down here to Florida because this is just absurd. No, I just got a good cast. bait I've been seeing up shallow. A couple of them are getting on the outside. Yeah. That was dope though. What was your favorite catch so far? This is not 100%. How big was it? Uh, 36. How's your PB? Yeah, because I haven't really caught snook like that before that. So I don't we, know what my PB snook is. We yammed them and then I caught my PB. So I know I caught a decent one that night I would drag. Were you there, E? I don't think I was there that night. I told this man, throw the straight braid on there. You're going to need <laughs> it. These bass do not play around. Especially not there. Yeah, I'm not trying to lose my PB. And I'm catching like, my PB this trip. What's like, your PB? Trying, what's your my PB? PB is 614. Ooh. 614 for the record. Hey, that's doable. That is doable. We yeah. can get that done. And that was a Jersey bass, too. You literally come in right here. Right. Yep. Yeah, I, I thought you were littering. <laughs> See, people know, people in Florida know what the real crimes are. I like this, man. I like this one a lot, Kai. I like this one a lot. All right, slightly tough launch. I forgot my water, that's okay. Sure there's no gators right here. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my sword. That's all I need. My my transportation method and my sword. And my extra ammo in the backpack. My straight braid won't have a problem in here. And the June bug is definitely the right color. A little bit of depth. Not too much. This one is just a complete 180 from both of the other spots. The other spots are both clear. Well, one was shallow, one was deep, but very clear water. And this is that stained, like I said, the best way I can describe it is that hairish chain color. Look at all these little tiny islands. It's got a nice depth to it. Like, it gets shallower up on the bank, but it has a nice little drop as well. These little mini islands of reeds could be... This just looks like classic stuff that would hold spawners. Got him! I think so! Oh yeah! Yep, yeah, big in! 
big in. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Six, seven pounder. Just picked it up. Six, seven. Yeah. Not seven, six. Yeah. Right off that little patch. Net bait bopper. First fish in the new spot. He ain't that big. He's like a six pounder, which is, you know, a good one. That was fun. And the kayak, it is such a challenge. See that net bait bopper? Mega bopper. <laughs> I think so. Trying out some new water. It's vast. Hard to hard to pick apart. I mean, there's got to be some monsters in here. And this is why we search new water. That's really a lesson though. Like we really could e have easily gone to some stuff that we knew would be productive today and just caught them. Got him. Nice. On the bass, man. Yeah, typically it seems like that's water that has a little bit of stain to it. It's more productive down here in Florida than that gin clear stuff. Gotta be methodical. When you're fishing this color water, pick all of it apart. When you get into a little spot like this, you can fish it for 15, 20 minutes. Another one off the island. Another nice fish. Another nice bop of ba Oh, wow. Yeah. Dude. They are. Look at that. Look at the shape of that one. Look at that guy. Bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. 